You a vlogger, facing over You a queen, when I less than I'm a goose Oh, why me, oh, why me 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 Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's your girl, or I'm Nichi Basharu, aka Miss Fear for Color, bringing back for our entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I was definitely really welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe, never to hit the bell. I absolutely love you, and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as at boldly or wami. Now, happy Monday, and of course, welcome back, Shibobam. Okay, I'm here, and my skin. Mm, we are actually coming back, okay, full force, and to the ninjas at the back that were busy laughing at my uh, complexion. What do you gotta say now? Nah, you know, because we, we are fully, fully recovering. We are fully, fully recovering, and obviously we're coming back. So, anyway, ninjas, before we get into this video, I do have the shout out. So let's go ahead and check it out, and I'll be right back. <laughs> from Tabanchu in the free state I am a 25 year old teacher and I do vlogs on my channel I do lifestyle and home content and I also share my journey as a young teacher and the challenges that I go through on a daily basis so please visit my channel get to know me and if you like me please do stay and subscribe thank you and see you soon bye now ninjas, I do this channel so that we can help each other grow. Please do go to our ninjas channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you comment to say that ninja actually um sent you guys. I am also going to make sure that I leave a link in the description box down below. Just make sure that you do the right thing, y'all. Please, <laughs> just make sure that you do right by our ninja. Okay, Shibobo. Mm -hmm. Now, anyway, my ninjas, today we're going to be talking about the man himself. The man who knows who he is. The man who is who he think he is, Shibobo. Okay, we're going to be talking about Z. Tabo Besta, right? Tabo Besta. Now, obviously, I'm not going to bore you guys by reading these articles and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just summarize everything for you guys. Um, and I know this was trending throughout the weekend. Obviously, I couldn't uh, film, but I'm filming today, and so that's also okay. Shpubu, we're going to be talking about how there are allegations that have come out saying that Tabo Besta was not only allegedly, um, you know, getting himself some pom pom, <laughs> some bamba, <laughs> some pom pom <laughs> behind bars. He literally had um, people that he would actually even pimp out. Those are the allegations that I actually got you guys. Like, um, so basically, what they're saying is that there are actual guards that work there, female guards that work there, but they also moonlighted as prostitutes. These women would collect a thousand to a thousand five um, per, I don't know if it was per round or per <laughs> the activity, I really honestly do not know. But um, yeah, you know, if obviously you were up to uh, up for it, you would sleep with either Tabo Besta or some of the inmates that are in there and you get your 1,500 rent. Okay, I think that is at most, like, averaging between 1,000 and 1.5, which, oh, okay, maybe let's say 1.5. Now, this is one of those reasons why I do have to say that, guys, you never know what people actually do. Because I was sitting down, guys, and I was calculating this amount. I'm going to go ahead and just, obviously, just so that it's faster because I did it in my mind. But let's say 1,500 and this person decides that they're going to do the pata pata at least, let's say, maybe four times a week, right? That's, like, reasonable. That's 6,000 rands a week. Now, let's multiply that by four weeks. That is 24,000 rands a month, which I... I would assume and I would suspect is even more than the amount of money that the government actually pays these people. So if the government is actually paying you 20,000 and your take home is 18,000 rands, you can add that, let's say plus minus 18,000, I'm going to say 18,000 rands to that. Literally, that is a whole 42,000 rands that you'd be getting. If it's more, then it's even more. Like, all I'm saying is that you're not going to just be walking and someone is going to give you 24,000 rands, right? 
Now, I saw that there was a lot of people that were sitting there and they were, um, you know, laughing and they were ridiculing and what. First of all, obviously, it's wrong. Legally, it's wrong. Um, a, 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 a guard and a, an inmate, they're not even supposed to meet in that in that way. You are basically the law. You are the law enforcement. You're there to have these people. First of all, they're supposed to respect you. Second of all, they're supposed to fear you in a way. Um, because you are like that authority, then how do you now respect the authority that you see naked and you are constantly touching boobs? I know there was a time that there was a video that actually leaked of a, a guard that was actually sleeping with an inmate. I know that you guys actually remember those videos. Um, you know, and they were doing the pata pata there. I think the guy was the one that actually filmed um, the whole situation because these guys, as much as they're behind bars, guys, they even have the privileges to can even have phones in there. Shibaba, okay. Now, obviously, Kumnandi, I mean, you are there, you eat well. All right, you have got a relationship or rather a sexual relationship with the with the guard. Um, so even if let's say maybe you were haleling KFC, you're able to just tell her, Hey, can you please bring me KFC when you come back? Sharp. She's gonna do that because obviously you guys are in the pata patering um business. And on top of that, to be say home bubu. Okay, so they are gonna see you as mahosha. You know, I pay you and I sleep with you. How dare you now come here and act like you are gonna be the rule of, of authority? And these people also know that between them and you as a guard, you have everything to lose. And they literally don't have much to lose. Most of them you find that they are saving life in jail, like Tabo Besta. What is the worst that they're going to do? They're gonna add yes to his life sentence. Ciao, come on. You know? And so for me, I'm honestly just like Wow. I know that they say that money is the, um, you know, the root of all evil, but money is also good. You know, I know money is good, but I do have to say when it comes to that part, I definitely would have to agree and say, wow, like I'm really honestly just super shocked at everything that is actually like just unfolding and also coming out. And this actually need to show us that guys, like as long as you have got money, you pull way so much power that it's not a lot of people that can actually like literally, um, Stand you. I mean, this is a man that was behind bars. He would be able to even get out of the jail and actually book somewhere where he would spend over a hundred thousand rands. That's a very beautiful place. And he not only just goes out there and does the pata pata with a woman, um, he, he does it with a gorgeous one. That's the first thing. And the second one, one that is a doctor. And then when he goes back to the to the prison, it's like, okay, you know what? I feel like <laughs> I feel like the bra the one in brown uniform. <laughs> <laughs> come here, you know, and then if maybe it feels like, ah, you know what, I've got my guy, he has not gotten some in a long time, I'm going to pay you 1.5, go and, uh, you know, satisfy him. Now, if this is what the law enforcement are doing, guys, remember the guards, they are the ones that they're supposed to even fear way more, like they're supposed to be very strict, they're supposed to make sure that this, 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 this guys, they feel it with this, nothing that I can actually do to get out of prison and everything. But then they're literally the ones that are out here doing the pata pata with this, um, with this, with these guys. They're getting money, they're literal prostitutes at work. And Imagine guys like being a husband to this person or obviously it's women that they are alleging with the ones that were doing this. We've not heard of guys. So imagine being a, a husband to this person that goes out there and he, she sleeps with inmates. Most inmates, from what we hear, a lot of inmates, um, obviously because they're in there, it's dry. You know, there's no pom-pom. Like, unfortunately, I think in South Africa, they don't have conjugal, I think they call it conjugal visits, wherein like a woman comes in and your sexual needs are obviously done. A lot of them in America, I think, um, if you're saving a life sentence, they do let you, or if you're saving, I think, a certain amount of time, because they know, obviously, um, sometimes sex is an aid. But um, some, obviously, they will get the prostitutes that come in. Some, maybe they will have a girlfriend. That's why, like, in America, they have a lot of, um, you know, those women that will date guys in prison and stuff like that, and so they get them unsatisfied with that, right? So here in South Africa, because I think we don't have that system, what happens? This men start sleeping with each other, and unfortunately, because they are exchanging each other and most of them don't have access to condoms because they don't have to, like the government system as they're not having, you understand? So they go in raw, what happens? They hear, they, a lot of them are sick. Um, most of them, uh, not most, but a lot of them are sick, like in terms of they also have, you know, HIV and stuff like that. You know that this is my wife. She only goes to work. Sometimes maybe if you're one of those that are very protective, you're like, I will drive you to work and then I will come pick you up. Can they ask them? 
Dololo. Kupela inside, you know, inside there is finishing. So for me, I'm just like, if you, no matter who you are out there, please make sure that you are actually getting into your prep. Okay, because you never know what these people are doing. First of all, I don't, okay, let's say maybe you are the, the car guard. You're going to say, okay, I'm going to go in there with uh, protection. This guy maybe doesn't even know anything about his health. I mean, he really doesn't care. I'm going to die in prison anyway. So, like, what do I care whether if I'm positive or negative? Men do actually pinch the condom so that it bursts so that they can go in raw. And some of them, you might find that they'll be like, I'll offer you money if you actually don't use protection with me. It's not a lot of people that are actually educated when it comes to, like, PEP and and prep and HIV and everything. So some people are gonna just look at it. Oh, I'll get a thousand five if I'm using protection, but I'll get three thousand if I'm not. Okay, let's rather that just not. I will see it after. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then the unfortunate part is that maybe you're a faithful partner out there and your wife, this is what she's doing out there. That's why I'm saying that you lot need to just be very, very careful. But if anything, I think this just brings such huge disgrace into like our legal system, our justice system. Um, because how dare them do this, you know? I have a feeling that the a lot more that we're still going to find out and we're still going to be shocked the same way that we've been shocked now. I think one part that I still can't get over is the fact that Simps Ngema, Simpi Wengema saw those people. Like, girl, you mean to tell me you did not see these people celebrate Utabo Besta's birthday and you was quiet and you already knew this guy is Tabo Besta and not uh, that Mutsipe uh, uh, fraud star? Ciao. <laughs> but anyway, I do want to guys to go ahead and comment below what you guys think of this whole situation. Um, when you guys found out or did you know about this, what is your thoughts? What is your opinions when it comes to this um, whole situation? From Wami Nish Bajoro, I love you guys so much. Happy Monday. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in our next um, episode. Bye, Ninjas.